A group of students from Case Western Reserve University are creating quite a sensation. One news article said that, you know, who would have thought that a group of 20-year-olds from Cleveland would be able to pull this off? With a clever fix to one of life's deepest irritations. Everybody's hit a pothole at one point or another. Why can't we create a solution to potholes? They created a solution, an ooey-gooey one. This whole idea started with one of our members who saw a Mythbusters episode about non-Newtonian fluids, and he immediately realized, what if we use this for potholes? A so-called non-Newtonian fluid acts like a liquid, but when you apply pressure to it, it solidifies. It's the key ingredient to the student's invention that won them top prize in an engineering contest. We had to start from square one. We had to start trying a bunch of different materials and you know, combining them and testing them. We had our first working prototype in about five months. The students put their secret recipe into waterproof bags and set out to fill potholes around Cleveland. Testing that product over and over again in all different kinds of conditions. And it works and it works beautifully. And you know, that was that big moment where we realized we have something that could make a huge difference. We found that this, is, this bag is about the size of what would be a dangerous hole. And if it gets bigger than that, we can add more bags. For added protection, they cover the bag with a black adhesive fabric. So people aren't trying to swerve and avoid it. The current temporary fix for potholes is cold asphalt patch. The students say their creation is more durable, environmentally friendly, and less labor intensive. It's going to increase the efficiency. It's just faster, safer, and cheaper. The team is finalizing their product and hopes to have it on the market by the end of the year. In the meantime, the students are attracting attention from around the world, with developers from India, Kenya, and South Africa reaching out to the young inventors. I don't think age is a super big deal. I just want to fix roads.